If something is just great, you can see if it stands the test of time, especially in the world of firearms. You can see it very easily. There are new cartridges developed left and right, but still some older ones linger on. Why is that? Well, they're just great. Looking at the Winchester 3030, you see exactly one of those cartridges that stands the test of time. It's been around since 1895, and it is still in heavy use today. In fact, it hasn't ever changed that much through the years. Like the saying goes, if it ain't broken, don't repair it. For our round, this means as long as it's effective, there is no need for change. The 3030 is not just a hunting round. It's the round that has killed more deer and other big game than any other round in North America. While this might not be that easy to prove, judging by the hunting rifles chambered in this caliber out there, there is a decent chance this claim is straight to the point. It is rimmed bottlenecked round developed from the 3855 Winchester round, firing a 7.8mm bullet. It is not just another 308 Winchester. In fact, thanks to its design, the difference in speed between most rounds is massive. Meant to be for lever guns, it's made to be fed from tubular magazines with its safety concern of the tip of one bullet setting off the primer of the round in front of it. This means the 3030 comes with a flat nose or a soft point. This design has a great effect when it comes to longer ranges. Take, for example, the Federal Premium's 170 grain power shock round. The bullet has a muzzle velocity of 2,200 feet per second. However, after 100 yards, that number has dropped to 1,900 feet per second. And after 200 yards, it goes down to just 1,619 feet per second. For hunting, that's not a problem as this round is mostly used for ranges of 100 to 150 yards. If you do want to squeeze more effective range out of your rifle, there are some specially made rounds available. The Lever Revolution, with modern powders, they have more speed and more energy. However, what does make most of the difference is a pointed tip that made so that this round is still safe in a tubular magazine. The projectile has a muzzle velocity of 2400 feet per second after 100 yards. And it's still going strong at 2150 feet per second after 200 yards. Still retains enough speed to go 1916 feet per second. Looking at its energy at 100 yards, it still packs 1,643 foot-pounds, and at 200 yards, it's still 1,304 foot-pounds. While these numbers are nothing to sneeze at, some might wonder why bother with this round. There are rounds out there with much faster bullets and much more punch. Well, this is true. If you do not want to go for long ranges, then this speeds and power levels are all that you need. Alone, the fact that the 3030 has taken down bears, wild hogs, and bull moose, as well as whitetails, show that it's up to the job. When it comes to terminal ballistics, the bullets of the good old 3030 really shine. They expand quite well, while it makes for a quick and humane kill. The rifles chambered for this round are short, easy to maneuver, and carry the whole day. And they are ideal to shoot through brush. In short, they are just more useful in more hunting situations that do not require the one-mile shot. With its power level, there is recoil that is quite manageable, making this cartridge both easy and a joy to shoot. The ammo is affordable, and you can find it practically everywhere. Even during the ammo shortage, you can get a few boxes of 3030. Our look at the best 3030 rifles, we do not include a Marlin as for now. The future of these rifles after the acquisition by Ruger is still in a little bit of doubt. The Henry 3030 Sidegate. While Henry has a long history of manufacturing lever action rifles, they usually come without a side gate. Their magazine is loaded through an opening at the front for which you have to partially or completely remove a tube inside the mag tube. That is, frankly, quite cumbersome and takes away one of the big advantages of lever action rifles, which is being topped off after every round or a few rounds fired. The Henry 3030 side gate offers you that option again by sporting, as the name applies, a side gate. This rifle has been built around the 3030 cartridge and is available in two variants. You can have it either with a standard or a large loop. The weight is for both versions 7 pounds, and it comes with a barrel length of 20 inches. The twist rate stands at 1 in 12. The furniture is made from American walnut. The iron sights consist of an adjustable semi-buckhorn rear and a brass bead front sight. The Henry Lever Action X model. While the 3030 is quite old, but still going strong, the rifles using it have evolved to some new levels. It is the Henry Lever Action X that shows that very clearly. Here the old meets the new. You have the traditional design of a lever action rifle matted with some modern firearm innovations. This includes a synthetic stock and fore end, 
You get a cushy buttstock, and there is even a Picatinny rail and some M-Lock accessory slots. Also updated are these sights with fiber optic, allowing you for quick target acquisition and low light conditions. The barrel is threaded, so you can attach a suppressor. Also, there's a side loading gate added. This allows you to top the magazine off whenever you have a chance for that. The look is just great thanks to the bled steel finish, as well as the black furniture. The barrel comes with a 1 in 12 twist and has a length of 21 inches. This makes for a great gun, ready for your next hunting trip. The Winchester Model 1894 Trails and Takedown. As the 3030 is a brush gun cartridge, it made sense for Winchester to design a takedown model. That makes it quite easy to stow and transport this gun while it is broken down into two big components. Those are the barrel assembly and the stock and receiver. This way, you can easily put it into a backpack, a small boat or ATV, or a small brush plane. The barrel length stands at 20 inches with a 1 in 12 twist rate. The weight is just 6 pounds and 12 ounces. This makes it even easier to carry on a hike. The good thing is that it does not diminish the look with its brushed polished finish and satin black walnut furniture. The Winchester 94 Carbine The Winchester 94 Carbine is the gun that started it all. It has a barrel length of 20 inches, giving you a good sight radius. The twist rate is 1 in 12. It comes in a classic look with a brushed polish finish for the barrel and receiver. For the forehand and stock, black walnut is used. The overall length is just 38 inches, making this gun quite easy to carry. If you go for hogs, you can swing it easily for some ice running shots. Same goes for hunting deer. The magazine tube has a capacity of 7. You can add to this one round in the chamber, making it for a total capacity of 7 plus 1. The Model 94 does come with a higher price this day and age, but for that, you get a quality gun. Buy one, and it will stay with you, and after you, and your child, and then, even with your grandchild. Cannot ask more from a gun. The Mossberg 464 Many modern lever-action rifles chambered in 3030 come with a hefty price tag. If you are on a budget, the Mossberg 464 is your way to go. It can be had for sometimes even below $500. This allows you to get one for your next hunt without breaking your bank. Being meant for less than long ranges by design, this rifle goes the whole way by giving you a barrel with a length of just 16.25 inches. Who needs a longer barrel if you shoot at 150 yards or less anyway? This also means that your gun is lighter and easier to swing. While being a budget gun, it still comes with a nice matte blued finish as well as a wooden stock and forehand. Alternatively, you can get it with a synthetic stock and modern features that includes fiber optic sights. The receiver is drilled and tapped so that you can attach a scope mount or a weaver base. There has been some feedback reporting feeding issues, but that is owed to the fact that this gun needs to be thoroughly broken in. However, as you get a gun for a budget price, this should not be a cause for complaints. Just spend some time on the range to familiarize yourself with it, and in the end, it will just work smoothly. And there you have it, guys. My take on the greatest rifles chambered in Winchester 3030. If you think I forgot one, please put it into the comments and let us know why it should have made the list.